What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a Last of Pocket video and we are going over passive skills inside of the game and going over everything that you need to know and how to use them, how to level up, respecking and all these great, great things to customize your characters the way that you want. So let's get started. So passive skills are in addition to your skills and specializations that you have that we did in a previous video, okay? This is the other half to that. Okay, the first and most important thing I want to go over before we dive deep into this is you can see you have your basic class here, which is your rogue, and then you have your three different masteries here. Okay, so as we stated in the last video, when you have your skills, once you hit 25, you get to pick a mastery blade dancer, marksman, or falconeer. We don't have access to falconeer, but when we do, you'll be able to have a pick of your choice between the three. And once you pick, you cannot backtrack you cannot undo it so the same thing applies in passive so i picked master or blade dancer to master now the cool thing in last epoch is i have access to all of these passive nodes but marksman you can see i have the grid here and then there's this chain link that splits it right down the middle when you pick your mastery the opposite masteries which would be the other two you can use nodes up to a certain point which would be where this chain lock is so even though i'm a blade dancer mastered i could use up to these nodes up to halfway through of the marksman nodes which also allows you to make some very unique builds in the game so i wanted to get that first and foremost out of the way because that's probably a huge question that everybody asks and talks about especially in my streams okay so let's get back to the nitty gritty of how passives work and why you would want to respect them if you had to, okay? So passive nodes inside the game are additional effects that you have that just happen as you're playing. You're gonna gain points as you level up through Last Epoch, the max level is 100. As you can see here, I got 103 points. You can earn more points from completing quests. You can quest here, as you can see on the map. Down here in this corner, I'll change the screen so you guys can see. Down here in this corner, I have passive points rewards 15. So by completing quests, you get access to 15 extra passive points, which is why you see me have over 100, okay? Right now I have 103. I am currently level 90. So I have 10 more passive points to go. So completing quests is what allows you to have even more, okay? So as you continue to level up, you get one passive point per level up. All right, and you can spend them as you're leveling up. Similar to the uh, skills video, you have connection points, which requires one point to connect one node to another, or in this case, from dodge and parry to thief guard, it requires three connection points, which means you have to have three points in dodge and parry before you can put one point into thrift guard. Okay, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. The next thing is, is what you're asking is this grid down here, okay? Now, another thing is these three skills below. As you continue to level up, this grid or this orange line is gonna move from the start all the way to the finish, okay? It's gonna start from the point and every single time you put a point in, the grid is gonna move a line, okay? It's gonna move a line. As the grid continues to move, it's the only way you're gonna be able to unlock further nodes, okay? So if I only have eight points, I can't unlock critical position because I need more points to get to this point, okay, in our skills. Now, one thing that is really cool when it comes to respecting, which we'll go over in a second, is there's not necessarily a huge cost. It's just you have to backtrack and go through everything because the bar is going to move. But to advance the bar, you have to take points in these skills before, before you can get to the ones next, and I'll showcase that in a minute. These three skills down here, which are normal skills, you unlock once you reach these points in your passive leveling up, you unlock these to be able to use, okay? Now, you have to get to this point here before you can start putting points in your Blade Dancer or your Mastery, okay? And then again, it applies the same thing as you're moving along. So 
customizing your character builds and putting points into nodes is pretty easy guys and it's just the connections are very easy and then you can level up certain ones you can press alt which shows you more information so leveling up the leveling them up is pretty easy and self-explanatory so let's get into a few more details about this so if i wanted to respect respect my points right i don't i don't like these points man i don't like i don't like this how do i how do i respect these okay i don't I don't want to be able to, I want to change all this, right? So respecting in passives is actually pretty easy and doesn't cost a whole lot. Now you're going to have to do it in one of these main towns, which you see indicated here with the orange grid around a star. Okay. The only way to respec is on the map. You're going to see these guys with the brains. Okay. Hello. The guys with the brains can respecialize mastery point allocation. So you click this and you can pick and choose which points you want to take away. So for example, if I want to take away a point here, respecting one point of the node costs 100 gold. I currently have 222,000 gold. Each time you respec, this cost can go up and it can keep going up until you respec. Now the cool thing about respecing passives, guys, is that it only costs gold. So as soon as I spend it, I have one unspent point. I can put it right back in after I want to do that. But make sure you leave. Stop talking to him. Go back to passives. I have one point right back in. No problem. So the only cost to respecking is gold. And also the cool thing about respecking is that you don't have to backtrack in a certain order. So I, I wouldn't have to respec this first then the, these five, then these eight down the line. So for example, if I wanted to respect this point, it costs 800 gold, but watch. As I respec, 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 we're gonna keep going, right? Cause I want you guys to see how this works. Cause as we're losing points, right? I can't respec this anymore because I have points in here. So I would have to take both of these down to make this go away completely. All right, so now if I respect this one, right now I don't have the point, right? Let's respect these five away. So now I can just respect wherever I want. I can put more points here, more points there, however I want to do it. It does not matter. Now, for this bar to move backwards, I'd have to respect a lot of points because it costs a lot of points to get to here. Okay, as you can see, under this one requires 45 points in blade dancer passives and requires 20 points in rogue base passives to be able to use this node okay i got 13 points unlocked let's go ahead and put these back in eight we got the one point in there and then i think i started in cloaked uh yes yeah i believe it was no it's not that one it's this one so now, oh man, I messed up. Let's go back, let's take this point off. Back into passives, boom. And now we're back to full. So respecking, the only negative is that it costs gold. Earning gold in this game is actually pretty easy. It's not too hard, especially in the monoliths. So respecking with gold and being able to put your points right back into passives is very good. You can respec at any of these points. You don't have to backtrack in a certain order which would cost unnecessary gold so respecting your character is very very easy very very rewarding and you can do it right on the fly so that is how to use your passives in the last of pot guys like the video if it does help you guys out subscribe if you're new we just hit over 8,000 subs we're on our way to 10k we're trying to get there before diablo 4 so hit that sub button if you are enjoying the content and as always stay gaming guys catch you in the next one peace